Hi, I'm Mo, and I'm really glad you're here today. Uh, I don't really need to say any words, right? All you need is this. Yeah, we all know what's going on here today. Ulta haul. I know you don't want a big long intro, right? You just want to get to the stuff in the bag. I don't blame you. I'm excited too, and I know what's in there, and I'm still excited. So let's just do the haul, shall we? And the bag's probably gonna make some noise, because that's what bags do. But it gives it some realism, right? Uh, by the way, Motilda Mulgrew is the name of my channel. Everybody calls me Mo. And imperfectionists are very welcome here at all times. Uh, I'm just going to do these in no particular order. First thing we've got is the... Oh, this is not new, new. But it's new to me and I've been interested in it. It's uh, the MAC Extended Play Per Me Up Lash. And you know what? With that packaging, it's really hard to kind of read what the words are on there. It's like blue on blue. I don't know if you can read this. Curl holds for 16 hours. Seems impressive. I don't have a huge problem with lash curl. Mine are definitely not straight. Uh, they don't have like incredible curl. So I'm somewhere in the middle. Um, so I'll give a quick curl and then put mascara on. I'm usually in pretty good shape, but I wanted to try this one to see how it goes. And I, you know, no great shakes. I bought it in good old black. Um, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I do like the packaging. Kind of a fan. Kind of funky. I guess you can read it here, right? The perm me up. That's probably a better way to read it. Like that. There you go. So, new mascara that I will try and I will absolutely report back on. Oh, I was looking for this for sure. And actually, I this was interesting. I couldn't find the display in the store. So then I did that new thing at Ulta that you can ordered on the app and just pick it up in the store and that I was able to do. Maybe it's in the back room. I don't know. I don't really care. Anyway, it is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I liked the Conceal and Define. I think I liked it more in theory than in practice because I like I liked how it stayed. I like all that, but it looked just too dry on me. I'm I'm somewhere normal dry, I would say. Um, so this one I'm excited about. I haven't seen any reviews of this yet. I know some people have done them, but I have not looked at them yet. Um, so I'll be also uh, doing a review of this. I'm going to maybe get that in this week, but I have another one to review too. So we'll see. But anyway, uh, I chose this in the shade F4. It's a little tough for me with Revolution because, you know, there's so much label and then it's like a frosted bottle. But I think this, I think this F4 is going to work for me. We will see. Um, and like as a little companion piece to that, I also got the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. And I believe I got that, yeah, I got that in the identical color C4. I tend to prefer um, my concealer to be roughly the same shade as my foundation. I don't try to lighten up a lot with it, that kind of thing. Um, so we'll give both of those a try. I will test them. I will get back to you. Because I know I love it when people actually, you know, they haul it and then I find out what they really thought. Um, oh, and let's just talk about the other foundation as long as we're on the topic. And that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills ABH is what we all say, correct? Um, the new foundation. And if you weren't sure it's foundation, it's foundation. I don't get this part of the packaging for ABH doesn't make sense to me. It seems really uh, uncharacteristic of their packaging. It's a minor thing, and it probably doesn't matter to anybody. I just find it like, I don't know. It looks like a different brand to me. Um, so this one was tricky. There's, I think there's 50 shades. Could be wrong about that number. But it's packaging that I enjoy. Nice glass bottle. Has a pump. Um, everything about it is nice. Again, it's got this. Why? I don't. But let's go back to their normal packaging, shall we? Um, the color on this was tricky to figure out. First of all, from what I understand, not all of the shades have been released yet. And from what I can determine, it seems like a lot of the cooler based tones are not available yet. So I have no idea why that is. So when I went in store, I was kind of looking and swatching and trying to figure it out. And this was the closest I could find to what I felt was the most neutral kind of in this shade range. And I did get the shade 150W, so 150W. And it's hilarious because this is not warm. Like almost all the other foundations, all the other, you know, ABH ones are warm. They're too warm for me. I, I am neutral to neutral cool. But this one was interesting because it claims it's warm, but it has, if you read the description, it says it has a beige undertone, which to me is neutral. 
So, I don't know, I'm a little confused by their shade description. Anyway, again, hoping to review this this week. Oh, and I also purchased the brush, their foundation brush. I typically don't do that. I'm not usually gonna buy the brush that goes with the thing, but this time I did. I thought you might be interested in seeing, does this make any difference, how is it? And I will tell you, I'm wearing the ABH foundation today. I've had it on for 11-ish mm, hours, and I have not even looked in the mirror. <laughs> I worked, I came home, I sat down to do my Ulta haul because I want to play with my stuff. So, uh, anyway, you're not getting a great look at this, but again, you're not here to see me. You're here to see the good. One of which is the Salut Paris. I'm going to harken back to high school French. This is from Essence. I couldn't tell you anything about these shadows. I have not done anything with them yet. And I think the little shiny protective cover is even on here, which, oh no, that's okay. It's not too shiny. This is totally my kind of color story. Very berry, mauve -y, neutral -y, kind of my favorite stuff. I am kind of like, what? Are those even different? We'll see. Anyway, I like the name. Cute packaging. It's got a mirror. You probably noticed that when I opened it. Mirror. And I think this was $9.99 at Ulta, so... We are gonna see about that. Again, I review all the stuff that I haul. This one was interesting. This was from Catrice, and um, I do not know if this is Iman. It's not like the I-M-A-N, Iman, I know her. Um, so I apologize for not knowing who this collab is with, um, but it is the eyeshadow palette, and there are nine shadows in here. Again, um, like a deeper take, a little bit warmer take on that previous one that I showed you. And really, I was just curious about this. I don't think I've ever tried anything I related um, from Catrice, and it's new. And so I thought, hey, that looks like a great uh, summer into fall palette. So we'll see what I think of that. What else is in here? Oh, this. I wanted to get a blush to try. Um, and it's the NYX Sweet Cheeks. This is an interesting line to me because, oh good, it's sealed. <laughs> it's not just in a box, it's in a sealed box. Let me see if I can get this out. I feel like I should entertain you while I'm doing this. Read your poetry. I don't know. Okay, I got it out. <laughs> so again, NYX Sweet Cheeks. There's eight of these. Four are matte, four are glowy, as they're calling them. I got the glowy version of Red Riot. And this looks very bright and deep, but when I swatched it, it looked kind of cool. I don't think it's going to come off super dark, particularly depending on what kind of brush I use, but I think this is going to be really pretty, and it's got that glow in there. And then I actually got two of these lipsticks, but I sort of cheated and wore one today, and now I don't see it. I may have to go get it, <laughs> but I'll show you this one. So these are the brand new MAC Love Me Lipsticks. This one is uh, Baited Breath, which is more of a uh, mauve -y, almost a brownish tone mauve, but it's still got a lot of plum and pinkish in it. A little different than some shades I wear. And then the other one I got is Hey Frenchy, which is what I'm wearing. And I like it. I don't, I don't wanna give a review. I'm not huge on first impressions, but I will say I put this on this morning um, and then this I just retouched not too long ago, so don't think this wore all day like this, but it's really, it's a really lightweight lipstick, but it seems to have good staying power and it seems to not be drying. So I don't know, again, that's barely even a first impression, but I'll report back on those as on um, the two lipsticks as well. So, um, that's my Ulta haul. The bag is empty. If I promise I'm not hiding anything. Um, so I know that's what you came to see and thank you always for being here. I so appreciate it. I just love hanging out. I love talking about makeup and I'm just a normal person who likes that stuff and uh, that's it. That's all I got. Oh, if you want to know what's on my face, you can stick around. Uh, I do like to tell you that. I know I like when people tell me what they're wearing. So as I already mentioned, I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, 150W, the new foundation on. I did bronze up a little bit, which I I don't do a lot of bronzing, but I love this bronzer. I love the packaging, it's so pretty. This is what it looks like inside. So pretty. It is, uh, the, when I heard people review it before I bought it, they said that it was pretty hard, 
pressed in the pan. It's a little tough to get out. I don't disagree with that, but I, I like it. I like a fairly light bronzer, so I'm okay with that. Um, for blush, I went with MAC Dolly Mix, which was a longtime favorite of mine. I just bought a new one not too long ago. And, and then I've had this for several months, but I, I pulled it out today because I know Zoeva is uh, now being sold at Ulta, at least online. It wasn't in my Ulta, but I already had this, and it reminded me that I love this Melody palette. It's so pretty. Um, just those colors. Aren't they so pretty? So pretty. Um, and the packaging. Beautiful. No mirror, but I can live with that if I need to. Um, so that's what's on my eyes 11 hours ago. So it's probably a little faded, but you know, it's still, it's still, it's still going. Uh, and that's it today. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this Ulta haul. I'll report back on everything. I do promise to do that. And I'll talk to you soon.